Morning folks, Mark Victorson from Pacific Golf Club. Look, just uh, thought John and I'd show you a couple of our new toys here at Pacific to aid in putting. And you know, we all understand that it's such a vital part of the game. Look at Jason Day, you know, in the 2017-18 season. He has not missed inside six feet since the season started. And he's 92% from 10 feet. Now, Putting is three things, it's aim, green reading and distance control. But one of the things that's really critical is actually getting the ball started online. So I'll show you one of the new uh, devices we've got, a putting laser for up in our, our, our teaching studio. If you have a look, it actually shows you whether you're physically starting the ball. There's a laser line, okay, and it's physically showing whether you're starting the ball on the line that you intend. So I'm just going to hit a couple of putts. So if the ball stays inside that laser line, you know, off the putter face, it means I've actually delivered the putter face square to my intended line, and I've started the ball on the line. So not much good picking a line if you can't start the ball on it. So this little device, the laser, this time I'll, I'll start the ball out to the right. You'll see that it immediately goes out of the laser. So that means that the putter face was open. So we can test people's putting strokes to see whether they're predominantly an open or closed uh, person with the putter face at impact. Again, this time I'll just shut the face and you can see the ball come straight out of the laser. So great little visual cue here for you with the laser to help deliver a stroke that's down the line. So again, a bit of a push out to the right. This time I'll try and get that ball started straight down the line of the laser. Let's see if I can commit to the line that I've picked. Pretty good. So if you want to do some work on the putting, we've got our putting green of course, but you can also really find out what's going on in your stroke up here in the teaching studio. Uh, John and I got all this stuff set up ready to go. Hi folks, Mark Victorson and John Hempstock from Pacific Golf Club. Just going to do part two of our, our laser study up here in the putting group uh, area in our coaching studio. So we showed in part one about you know the ground laser showing the ball running along sort of maintaining your takeoff line which is absolutely vital. Now the thing that influences getting that takeoff line of course is the control you've got over the putter face. So John if you can just switch the laser on which we've got attached to the shaft. Very lightweight. So it's a brilliant little device this because it gives you great, again, great visual cues as to whether you're actually moving the putter squarely. Now there's a training uh, grid that we can get on which lights up and if we get the putter opening and closing too much or get it get it changing path again great visual cue so it's one thing to understand what you're doing in your stroke it's another thing to fix it so what it does keep going backwards and forwards John, and just make a couple of dud strokes you know like get the putter going that way okay a bit of push to the right a bit of a drag to the left now what about yep one of those i see one of those every now and then with blokes I play with but the other thing is about getting centered contact and I think for distance control it's absolutely vital that you come back and hit the ball in the same spot on the putter face so what this does show um, is that that's why John was a Scottish boys champion because he can move that putter pretty well backwards and forwards inside that line now there is a reason why I'm not doing this demonstration not quite as stable as John through the impact zone there okay but he's doing a great job so just come away from the the board there Jono and just have a few swings so that little laser is brilliant it just helps to get that squareness of of putter face and the great putters one thing they've got an ability to do is keep the putter face pointing at the target throughout the stroke so there's not a lot of the great short putters um, that have super opening and closing strokes most of the time you'll see them very very square so these are just tools that we've got now in our teaching studio to help define that stroke and make sure that we develop a, a decent putting stroke. So well done, John. Thank you.
Okay, Jono, tell us, we've turned the lights back on so we can, we don't need the laser anymore. Tell us your experience. You just, we just saw some, a great demonstration of you moving that putter very squarely along that line that was on the ground and the laser just basically pointing exactly where you'd started. So tell us what you found, because we've been playing around with this for a couple yeah. of weeks, haven't we, yeah. to see how it works. Yeah, so I've always thought myself to be a pretty good putter, pretty um, confident in the greens, but when I get to 10, 15, 20 foot or longer, I consistently miss putts to the right, and I've always been confused for the past two years why that happened. I thought I wasn't reading the greens properly, because when it's close and the, and the, and the putting stroke's much shorter, I'm more consistent, but when it gets to a longer putt, I consistently miss the putts to the right. So when I, when, when I got the laser on, Again, I, I'm, I was that Just close. turn that laser on, John. We'll see if it does work. Oh, you've taken it off. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, doesn't matter. Okay, so, so just to show you, I've been... As that, you can see, these things aren't staged. We do it in real time. Yeah, so <laughs> I've been that focused on keeping the face square. I've actually ended up pushing it off to the right. So when I had the laser on, as I came through, that laser went heavily to the right. And I felt like it was staying square, but the laser actually pointed off to the right. So that made me have to feel a lot more, almost feeling like I'm pulling the putter a little bit to the left, but in fact it was, it was the, that was actually keeping the face squared and much more down the line. So when you were, when you were just doing the demo there, yeah. when we had the laser on, yeah. you felt like you were dragging it a little bit to the left. Yeah, but it was and, straight, so and it was the feeling. The laser showed you, it was yeah. like we, we videotaped it, it was spot on on that line. Yeah, so next time I go out, I fully expect to have about 20 putts for the round or something like that. So, yeah. <laughs> Jolly but good. This, even this helps us, and, and it's going to help you as well, because even the, the, what I felt like I was doing was not what I was doing, so this showed me what I should be doing. So. Um, yeah, yeah I think it's one thing to know what you're doing wrong, yeah. but it, you've um, got a strategy now to try and fix that up. Definitely, yeah, absolutely. So it's a very valuable tool, so I highly recommend it.